In the previous lecture, we understand how dictionary work in Python. In this lecture, I'm going to show you some magic you can do with assignment operator. You all know how you can specify value to the variable using assignment operator. If you want to specify a value to the variable, you can simply specify it using assignment operator, just like this. If you have a variable a, then you can specify the value to this a using this assignment operator. We all know that. Now let's take a look at some assignment magic in Python. So if you just print this variable, you're going to get 20 as a result. But assignment operator is not limited. There is more. You can perform several different assignment simultaneously. Now, for example, I want to create three variables. I'm going to just create here a, a is equal to, and then I'm going to specify empty string to this a variable. Then I'm going to create b variable, specify empty string to it, and then create a c variable, and then specify empty string to it. So here I have three variables with empty string as a default value. Now using assignment operator, you can simply move your three lines into one. If I just get rid of this statement, and if I create this variable one by one, just like this, then this is the value statement in Python. This will create three variables in Python. So using comma, I'm going to separate all these variables and then using assignment operator, I'm going to specify value to this variable. So if I just specify here 20, 30 and 40, then this value is assigned to these variables one by one. So the 20 is assigned to this A variable, 30 assigned to the B variable and 40 assigned to this C variable. So you move your three lines into one. Now, if this assignment is not useful, then you can switch the content of two variables. For example, if I just specify here, b comma c is equal to c comma b. I'm going to just switching the values of these variables. You know that a has value 20, b has value 30, c has value 40. Here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just switch the values of b and c variable. b has 30 and c has 40. What I'm going to do is I'm going to specify c 30 value and b 40 value. I'm going to just switch value between b and c. I'm going to specify 30 to this c and 40 to this b using this assignment operator. So when I try to print this variable a, b and c, you can notice I'm going to have 20 40 and 30. Now this technique is work well with dictionary as well. You can simply get your key and values using this assignment operator very easily. Now for example, let's say you have a variable dictionary and in this dictionary you have two items name and girlfriend. Now I want to get the key and value from this dictionary using this technique. So to do that, I'm going to first get rid of the statement and down here I'm going to just create a variable key and create a variable value. You are not limited to only specify these name to these variables. You can specify any name to this variable that doesn't matter. Then I'm going to specify equal to sign and then I'm going to call dictionary variable and then I'm going to call here dot pop item method. I will explain why I use this method here after a few seconds. But just for now, just try to print this key and this value. When I execute the statement, you can notice I have girlfriend Mario. This method is going to return the last item of your dictionary to the key and value pair. Now we have this girlfriend key in this key variable and this value in this value variable. Now keep in mind the sequence you unpack must have exactly as many items as to target your list on the left side of your assignment. For example, let me just show you a very simple example to understand what I want to say. Here I'm going to create a variable x and y. I'm going to simply create here x and y. And then I'm going to specify equal to sign and right now I'm going to specify three values here instead of two just like this. Now you can notice we have only two variables and I'm going to specify three values here. So the sequence you unpack must have exactly as many items as the target you list on the left side of the assignment operator. Otherwise Python raises an exception when the assignment is performed. So when you try to print this file, you're going to get an error message because you have three values here, but you have only two variables to store these values. What if I just create here one more variable z and get rid of this value form here. When I execute the statement, I'm going to get the same error message because here I have three variables, but I just assigned two values to these three variables. So I'm going to have error message from Python. Now let's just try to grab the values of sequence using assignment. For example, 
let's say if I just specify list to this variable just like this if I just print this variable x y and z you can notice this is going to return an error message because as you can notice in this list we have four values and here I'm going to specify only three variables so I just need to first remove this fourth place value just like this and when I print this statement you can notice I have 10 20 and 30 so this x variable has 10 value y variable has 20 and z variable 30 that's super easy right so using list you can specify variable values very easily now you're not limited to only specify list to these variables you can specify tuple as well if I just specify here tuple and when I execute the statement you're going to have the same result so you can use list or tuple to specify value to these variables very easily now as you know if I have one more value here I'm gonna have error as a result because we have only three variables here and I'm gonna specify four values to these three variables now I want to solve this problem I want to store this value or the rest of the values in some variables so I can get only three values from this tuple so instead of ensuring that the number of values match exactly you can gather all the rest of the values in the one variable using star operator for example here you can notice I have three variables I'm going to just get rid of these three variables and just leave two variables here and to the last variable I'm going to specify star and then specify variable name here I'm going to say rest you can specify any name to this variable that doesn't matter and now I'm going to just print this variable down here you don't need to specify star here you just need to say rest now when I execute the statement you can notice you're going to see the magic of star in Python I'm going to just execute the statement you can notice I have 10 20 and the rest of the values using this rest variable I have 10 in this x variable in this y we have 20 and the rest of the value is going to store in this rest variable suppose you want to add a value in the variable and assign the same result for example now let's say you have x variable and you have one value to it you want to store this one value in the x variable again and assign it to the x variable you will just simply say here x is equal to x plus 1 so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 1 into this x variable and then assign it to the x again when I try to print this variable I'm gonna have 2 as a result but instead of writing x plus x plus 1 you can just put the expression operator before the assignment in this case we are using plus operator for example let's say I want to add 1 in this x variable and assign a value to this x again I'm gonna just simply get rid of this statement right from here specify plus operator equal to sign and then specify value which I want to add in this x variable just like this when I execute the statement you can see I'm gonna have the same result is now added in this x and assigned to the x again this statement is going to first add 1 in this x variable and then assign to this x variable now you're not limited to only use this plus operator you can use minus multiplication or division as well for example if I want to multiply x I'm gonna just simply say here x star equal to sign and if I want to multiply x with 2 I'm gonna specify here 2 if I want to minus 2 from this x I'm gonna say x minus equal to 2 so this 2 is minus from this x variable and then assigned to this x variable when I execute the statement you can notice I have 2 as a result the assignment operator is also useful when working with string as well so here I'm gonna just create three variables x y and z and I'm gonna specify string to it a b and c so now when I print this statement x then I'm gonna print y and z when I print this statement you can notice I'm gonna have a b and c as a result so this works with string as well now I hope you understand how assignment work in Python use this technique to save tons of lines of code in the next lecture we'll talk about a conditional statement